so it's about to be a major issue because Faustino had the bags. My bag has our passport in it, our cash, and about five of our credit cards. So this is the neighborhood that we are staying in. This is our house, Faustino's inside anyway. So the way that things work around here is that um, usually we walk up to the top of the hill and we hail a cab. You never know who's gonna be in that cab, how many people is gonna be in that cab. Yesterday, we got into the cab and there was about five people and the guy's like, yeah, 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 come on. Uh, two more people can fit in the front. It was so hot outside that we decided, okay, well, cool. Then we'll just get in the front, but it was packed. What that taught us was we need a scooter. Now we've been here for about six or eight weeks. No, I think we've been here for about six weeks and we haven't had a scooter. So we haven't been able to get around and see a whole lot, but that, my dear, is gonna change, and this is why. Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five sticky, can get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five sticky, can get And there you have it, you guys. No more cabs for us. No colossal here. Now I feel like I'm back in Malaysia. Hear this moment Don't let me think back Give me what I need Just wanna forget Don't need time to breathe Two hearts bumping blood Beating up for fun Caress my bruises Don't wanna go deep Do it again And again, babe No matter if we If we come to run a few errands today hey little joe hey me little joe this is one of the cats that we're pet sitting with hey little joe oh him is such a cutie pie oh. DHL. It seems like the fifth DHL, but it may not be. Faustino is still trying to um, find the best shipping option for his laptop. It's so hot outside, you guys. It's hot. At this time, I really don't care how long he's taken because as long as he's in here, then I can soak up all the air. All the air because it's hot outside. Anyway, you guys, I guess I'll see you um, on our next stop. Do it. Give me what I need. Just wanna forget. Don't need time to breathe. So we just made it to Puerto Marquez and we're walking down the street to check out some dresses tonight I saw earlier. So guys, what we're gonna do is go ahead, go, go and look for some more. So what we're doing is we're looking for some swimsuits. We passed this place before and there's multiple little spots that sit off to the side where we can buy little trinkets and swimsuits and things. Well, as you know, my Spanish, I know poquito and Faustino knows so much more so what he's gonna do supposedly is try to negotiate a price now let's go and see I like these you don't like these? the little moon you have one like these one time not, not like that so we managed to get um, a bathing suit it was cheaper than uh, the price that she originally quoted us 
But I think that's because she didn't want to lose any business. Not because we were so good <laughs> at bargaining. But um, we're gonna take a look around and see a couple more things and um, we'll take you guys with us. I think she knows we're trying to go around the corner. That's why, maybe. No, gracias. So we're at our other stop, which is our next or third stop. Still looking for bikinis and this is a little road right in the center of uh, Puerto Marquez. It's got restaurants on the right. So I think this is our, maybe our last stop. And I think Tana should get this. This, I like that. She should get that one right there. Yeah. Hey guys. Hey, what's up? So Faustina has been doing a little research to try and find somewhere that we can go um, other than the normal little touristy places that we've been going to so far. We took this road and it brought us to this unexpected little beach. We're gonna try to find out the name of it. It's gonna be right here. But uh, we, it's pretty cool, it's hidden. It is definitely hidden somewhere off the beaten path. It looks like it is uh, nothing but locals, which is absolutely cool because we love kicking it with locals. But we're gonna have to come back here and maybe bring Daniel. There's a little watering hole off to the side and there's multiple cabanas. Oh yeah. So it's pretty cool out here. It is. There's music, people are dancing. I can do this. Yeah, it looks nice. I'm gonna show you some of the mountains right quick. So, next adventure, let's go. Let's see what we're gonna find next. Deuces! So, this is the Michelada. Uh, <laughs> Stop smelling the people. <laughs> okay, so that was pretty cool. It's a Michelada. It's a we, stopped to ask, uh, we stopped to ask what this drink was that this couple was holding. And they stopped and they told Pastino what the drink was and they actually gave us a beer. How cool is that? And it's a pretty good beer. I guess, I don't know where Pasquino went. I guess he's gonna go and park the bike and um, yeah, we'll see what's what. beer and they put spicy stuff all around the rim but you know what it takes away the beer taste does it it doesn't taste like beer We just made it to Walmart. This is basically how we pick our breads. And you put it on these trays and they come up here and they weigh them. And then you can uh, purchase them. All up. Gracias. So guys, we're at, uh, checking out from Walmart. This is uh, today's trip. So it also looks like a lot. Our normal, our groceries have been averaging about 100 USD a week. to be a major issue because Faustino had the bags. My bag has our passport in it, our cash, and about five of our credit cards. Don't even ask me why we travel with five credit cards. So we got the people in Walmart to try and run the cameras back to see if, if someone stole it. But I think that I remember Faustino putting it in the bike. I'm trying to open the bike now. So 
guys. After today's Walmart debacle, we decided we had to come back home and just chill out and just rest because it was, it was a lot. So uh, we ended the day with uh, Burger King. We weren't able to get our uh, our groceries because it stocked them all back. So we'll be going back to Walmart sometime tomorrow. Time to eat dinner. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe.